Well, a half a world away, the situation is still very tense in Kenya as Islamic militants occupied the inside of a mall where they took many civilians hostage. Joe Khalil spoke with an MSU grad after or earlier this afternoon who's studying in Kenya and lives in an apartment less than two miles from that mall. He joins us now live in the studio. And Joe, what's the situation like for her so close to the danger? Well, Greg, she says it is very tense right now. Her name is Amanda Lewis. She's a grad student pursuing her doctorate, and she's been in Kenya since January doing research there. Now, Amanda told me that she can't go anywhere in downtown Nairobi now without passing through a security checkpoint. She says even restaurants have guards and metal detectors, so people there understandably a little on edge right now. And the latest reports we heard today describe that a thick black smoke coming from the mall. Amanda said she actually could see it and smell it from her apartment. That's uh, again, where those hostages were. Now, what struck me the most talking with Amanda today was that she said the Kenyan people are reacting to this act of terrorism much like Americans did after 9-11 or the Boston Marathon bombing. She said Kenyans of all backgrounds rallying together and really united around the victims of this tragedy. There's this sense of patriotism. They really want to pull together as Kenyans because this was an attack on, on Kenyans, whether they were of Asian descent, whether they were white or they were black, there was still a very strong like sense of we're a country. You really can see the common humanity of us all. There's this, you know, this desire to pull together and to, to have some sort of sense of unity after um, something really terrible like this. And she, Jane Gregg, she said that the uh, Kenyan Red Cross set up a blood drive for the victims. And Amanda told me they actually had to start turning people away because there were simply too many people volunteering to donate. Pretty special. Yeah, yeah no doubt is. about that. Thanks, Joe. And be sure to stay with 6 News and the CBS